Assalamu alaikum dear students, it's Dr. Masuma Mehta. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Medical School. Today I'll be explaining acute gastritis. And at the end of the lecture, you'll be able to learn causes, symptoms, signs, complications and treatment. So let's begin. So the acute word means sudden in onset and wherever the word itis is used, that means inflammation. So basically, this name suggests inflammation of gastric mucosa and it occurs due to imbalance between the gastric defenses and acidic environment. So what do you mean by gastric defense? It's mainly composed of mucosal defense and it includes mucin layer produced by the foveolar cells and we have bicarbonate secretions that are being secreted by epithelia of the stomach and then the normal blood supply which is essential for nutrients. So what do you think what will be its causes? Number one, we have severe burns. These are also called as curling ulcers in which hypovolemia occurs and the stomach doesn't, doesn't get normal blood supply. And the most common condition is ANSID use in which prostaglandin E2 is reduced. And as we know that prostaglandin E2 has a specific function in maintaining the mucosal lining of the stomach. Then we have high consumption of alcohol may lead to this condition. Chemotherapy, shock and again increased intracranial pressure. That is called as Cushing ulcer. Now in this condition the vagus nerve is being stimulated. So more and more gastric acid has been produced. Increased acidic content of stomach now these all conditions may lead to ulcerations, erosions and superficial inflammation. So the clinical presentation of acute gastritis. Remember this is not a dangerous condition. So it remains asymptomatic in very early stages. But as the condition progress, the patient may develop epigastric pain and burning sensations. The patient may feel nausea and vomiting, hematomasis, that is the blood in the vomiting, melena, the black stools, and blood loss. These three things are actually present in very critical ill patient. So again, we have the symptoms. You can see here, the patient feel nausea, vomiting, abdominal bloating, pain, indigestion, and burning sensations. So the complications, the complications begin when this condition is left untreated. So gastritis may lead to stomach ulcers and stomach bleeding and it can cause chronic gastritis as well. So and in some forms of chronic gastritis may increase your risk of stomach cancer, especially when you have extensive thinning of stomach lining and changes in the lining state. So what will be the treatment of this condition? Being a good physician, you have to provide or you have to suggest the patient antacids. That includes proton pump inhibitors and histamine receptor block. And you have to suggest the patient to avoid hot and spicy food for early recovery. Let's talk about the diagnosis. So diagnosis is mainly made by clinical examination and history taking. But if you want to confirm this condition, you may go for an upper endoscopy, blood testing and stool testing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Allah Hafiz.